I'm Jace Tanner. I'm here with Emma Gregory reporting from Vancouver's downtown east side, a neighborhood with severe issues, amongst them poverty, homelessness, and drug overdose, all of which have intensified with the pandemic. For this installment, we made five videos. We canvassed the neighborhood, looking for people who wanted to speak on living conditions in single-room occupancy hotels, otherwise known as SROs. We met Robin and Donnie in Victory Square. Both men agreed to speak on a first-name basis only. Donnie currently lives in an SRO. He, he has a similar experience to that of Charlize, but a different opinion. He hopes to live with his family one day. We are chasing the work. You're chasing the work. Construction work, this is the land of the work. Of the construction work and we're trying to get landed on a nice, I'm trying to get landed on a nice crew. Company, we, company. We work in North Van, so when we get off the sea bus, this is the closest park I can take off my boots. We go to Trades Labor Corporation on Main and Terminal. They send you out to a, to a work site yeah. for the day. Yeah, yeah. And gives the companies a chance to see how we work. And maybe they might want to hire us. I'm a skilled laborer, power tools. He's just getting into the industry, nice. but he's more of a musician. But I'm looking to be a safety officer, construction. Like I understand all the programs that are offered to me. And I just recently, like I want to, like I have a problem with alcohol. And I want to get back. I want to be a family guy again. And I want to use those. I want to get a counselor. And better housing. Better housing. Just to be like... Because I live in a SRO. So you have kids? Well, yes. My daughter My daughter lives in a family house. It's a, it's a women's building. He's a good worker. He's a good worker. And I, wish, I wish there was better, like family housing. He wants to get better housing, you know, and um, we're hoping a roommate at maybe native housing together. Yeah. Because we're a good team, you know, and he wants to work things up with his family. Uh, I used to go to, uh, I used to go to native court workers. Mm -hmm. But uh, my counselor just passed away and the, the native, uh, the elders, they got taken out of the picture because they're considered high risk. Because you know? of COVID? Yeah. I know some I know some of the elders are like not interested. I know some elders, as so there's tons, aren't interested in getting vaccines, but I think that a lot of them will. Do you think that they'll come back in the picture once uh, they're all sort of Most of the elders I know well back in the territories are getting their vaccines. Yeah. But I don't know about the city but, but we're talking about the city, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a whole other conversation. That yeah, is... I have I have two other brothers here. Yeah. And they also live in SROs like Donnie. Yeah. And I think they want to get better housing. Yeah. You know, like yeah. where you can roommate with yeah. family. You know. It's too bad that like it's either like you're you can have an SRO or then you have like for like two thousand dollars more you can have an apartment. Well, we're going to work, but yeah. The Carnegie Outreach, that's one of the services I work through. Yeah. But it's just mostly about getting me housing. Yeah. But I have housing now, yeah. native housing, but no guests allowed, single, single. Yeah. I want to roommate with... Your buddy Donnie. So my friend Donnie, who yeah. we have, we're, we, have, we think alike and we um, are good friends and we both want to work things out with our yeah. Well, he wants to work it out with his family. I'd like to start a family, you know, and stuff like that, right? So, like, the SRO situation kind of doesn't really help it you? Does, it doesn't. He can't even get sleep. Yeah. Like, you know, I can get sleep at night, but I don't know what... I called BC Housing a few times. Yeah. And saying, listen, I'm looking to roommate with a reliable roommate here. And he's That's SRO, and I'm a supportive housing, so which is okay. Yeah. But, you know, it's safe and everything. There's, you know, but... We want to up it to... Next level. Yeah. I, I tried to get off the list and get on a different list of housing. And uh, last month, we're like, oh, we can't do it till the 20th. 
and then I went to a recovery for two months. And then I, I left the recovery house and tried to leave my place on the 20th. And I'm like, oh, we can't do it for another couple of months. Because nobody's, nobody's going to take you right now because of the pandemic. Yeah. Do you feel like the stress, like, is it stressful being where you're at right now? Is that a rogue? I would say so. Yeah. I mean, you can't sleep. You got to sleep with a, a piece of metal under your bed, you know, that, that's just not. And that doesn't help if you're trying to recover. You know, and, like, and he's get... recovering and he just wants to go to work and take be family man, eh? And, yeah. And, um, like, oh, well, you got to live with your family unless, unless you go to recovery. And I went to recovery. Like, oh, you can't go, you can't live with your family if you're in recovery. You got to move out of your place. So and I went to move out of my place and like, oh, you can't move out of your place right now. I'm sure like living with your family would be like really healing too, but it's just kind of like... It'd be really nice. That would be nice, I bet, yeah. I just go there to sleep. I spend all day outside with my family and I only go, go home at like 10 o'clock at night to go to sleep. I wake up and go to work. You know, you should be able to go home, watch news, five o'clock news, and yeah. go have a hot shower. They have to share the bathroom. They have to share, you know, there's no cooking facilities. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you want like your house to be at home. And he still makes it to work. And it's just like, I don't, you know, like he's yeah. working double than I do, right? And then there's, God bless some other addicts that are wandering around in the hallways. I've been to his house, right? And then. Whereas my building is, you know, there's nobody wandering the hallways, it's security at the door, you know, it's, it's a newer building, there's no infestations, no bugs, there's no, right, it's clean, my, my own bathroom, my own stove. That's a lot more human. And I could, you know, I'd go to bed and get up and, you know. I've been but trying to move out of my place for a year now. Oh, you can't move out because of the pandemic. Nobody will take you. What were you saying about like the, the services that would help pe two brothers roommate together? Basically. Most of the services are just, they want to house you, yeah. the individual. Yeah. But now we're ready, we're, we're capable yeah. of being able to team up and maybe we can combine our income. We're back in the workforce and we're trying to, you know, we still drink. We probably need help. I probably I need help with that. You've just heard from Robin and Donnie. Both of them are construction workers living in the downtown east side. Both of them one day would like to live with family, but their current housing prohibits it. Mm -hmm.